Hi, this is Theo from PocketBlocks.com. Today I'm going to review the Escoda Versatile brush. This is a brush made for watercolor. Let's take a look at how good it is. The Versatile brush is actually a synthetic brush. So these are actually synthetic bristles. And they look a bit different compared to the sable hair. Now this is dry, I'm going to wet it later on. But this brush comes in different types of handle. This is the pocket brush. So you can put this cap onto this brush. And this is the one with the wooden handle. They also have the thinner round brush, which is the normal wooden handle. Uh, something like this, for example. So um, different formats. I'm going to compare this synthetic brush against the white perla synthetic brush. This is some line on bristles. And this is the Charles Reed Reservoir brush. This is a sable brush. So I'm just going to wet these three brushes first. Now that they are wet, you can see the difference. This is the synthetic perla brush. This second one is the versatile. And the third one is the sable brush. Take a look at the sable brush versus the versatile. You can see that the sable brush it tapers sharply to the point. This is also quite uh, sharp, but definitely not as sharp compared to the sable brush. You can see that the shape of this brush head is a bit more oval in shape, while this is more tapered in shape. The difference between these three brushes is the water carrying capacity. So now I'm going to test it. Let me start with the Perla brush, the synthetic brush. I'm going to load some paint and see how far, how much paint this brush can carry. It's starting to dry towards the end. The Perla brush is a bit stiffer compared to the other two brushes, so um, you can barely get two strokes. Now I'm going to go in with the Versatile. In terms of pricing, the Versatile is cheaper than the Sable brush but more expensive compared to the synthetic brush of course. I would say you can get about one uh, more, it definitely can carry more water compared to the synthetic brush but not that much more I think. Let's compare the Reservoir, this is a Sable brush, the best Sable brush from Escoda. Notice when I lift up the brush at the end, it deposited quite a bit of water, a lot of paint here. So this is the second stroke, even the second stroke is still quite dark. You can really see how much water the Sable brush can carry in addition compared to the two synthetic brushes. So yeah, so I think the difference is quite clear. The brush that does not carry a lot of water is the synthetic brush, white perla. The Versatile holds more water compared to the synthetic perla brush, but not as much compared to the sable brush. So the sable brush is still quite clearly the winner here. Another thing I want to test is how well the brush tapers back to a point when you lift them up. So I'm going to start with the synthetic brush again. And put down a stroke and lift it up and see. take a look at the brush. The bristles, see if they taper back to a point. Now I'm going to switch over to the Versatile. It's not as sharp compared to the Sable. This is how it looks like when you lift up the brush.
I'm going to switch over to the sable brush And this is how it looks like for the sable brush. Let me compare them side by side. From left we have the synthetic brush, followed by the versatile and the sable brush. This is how they look like after you lift them up from the paper. Let's take a closer look at the strokes. These three are from the synthetic brush. This tree from the versatile and this tree from the sable. From what I can see, I can see that the versatile and the sable brush, the strokes are slightly thicker compared to the synthetic brush. Let's take a look at another set of strokes that I painted earlier. This is from the synthetic brush, this is from versatile, and this is from the sable brush. I'm not sure if you can notice any difference, but to me, the sable brush was able to produce a slightly darker stroke. Probably because it's able to carry more pigment, more water, and it's able to lay down more pigment as a result. So, using the same amount of pigment that I mixed earlier, actually I just dipped the brushes into this mixture here all the three brushes into the same mixture and I painted this so with that mixture you can get a darker stroke with the sable brush and these two look rather similar the synthetic and the versatile now I'm going to do a quick demo of how it is like to paint with the brush so I'm just going to color this sketch Because the brush doesn't taper back to a really sharp point, you have to be a bit careful when you go in with the details, especially going in to color the smaller areas. And notice that I have to reload the brush quite a few times because it ran out of paint. So the brush doesn't hold as much water compared to the sable brush. But other than that, I think it works um, quite well. Versatile brush versus the sable brush, which one is better? To me, I feel that the sable brush is better because it can taper back to a sharper point. It holds more water and when the strokes are dry, the color appears to be a bit more intense, a bit stronger. Versatile brush is also a very good brush. Actually, both of these brushes, the strokes that they can create are pretty similar and they are equally as soft, quite soft. Anyway, you will only notice the difference if you have two brush to compare side by side. Which one should you get? If you are buying a small brush, let's say a size 8 and below, I would recommend the sable brush because at small brush sizes, the sable brush holds significantly more water compared to the versatile so the advantage for small brushes goes with the sable brush if you want to buy a big brush maybe size 8 maybe 10 size 10 and above i would recommend you go for the versatile because at large brush sizes the versatile brush is significantly cheaper compared to the sable brush and at large brush sizes um, the brush, the large versatile brush is going to hold about as much water compared to the sable brush. Maybe slightly less than the sable brush, but it's going to be much less expensive. So uh, the advantage I would say with large brushes goes to the versatile. I think that's all for my review today. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. I will also post a link to the text review of all the brushes that I have shown you today. You can check out the text review if you want to buy them. You can buy them through the links on my text review. 
Yes, uh, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more art product reviews, sketching tips and videos, art book products and more. Bye, see you in the next video.